this is very much about how to get the most use of the of all the material that's available the the sage city is a huge community and we transferred when we transferred uh, most of the blogs and the forums across from um uh, the community which old one uh, we had 10,000 active members and so we've got 10,000 active members accessing and using material on a much bigger bigger uh, platform and it's just in terms of what you've got for available to you to get the all the new all you need is is just uh, uh, so much um available to you here, here is just reminding you of all the different sources of help uh, available to us um, within the sage crm community uh, i'm going to step on and just look at some always the first place uh, you should go always always the first place you should go uh, is going to be uh, the uh, help center um you can see you can, you've got all of the current releases there. Very useful as well as uh, support lifecycle. That's a very useful way of just reminding yourself there um, what's um, uh, what is hot, if you like. Uh, you've got uh, within uh, the uh, help center, as I said, all sorts of different documentation for uh, the APIs and things, but. Uh, this was essentially about talking about Sage City, so it's worth uh, just here um, looking at what we've got on Sage City. Uh, if you go on to, um, you, you'll find Sage, Sage CRM is unusual because we are sold across the world. It, it's it's not not like um, Sage 200 or Sage 100, which is very much within a particular market. So Sage 100 in France, Sage 200 within the UK. Uh, so CRM straddles the world. It's a bit like X3 in that regards, and you'll find us therefore underneath Sage City in the Glo Sage Global Solutions. And if we drill down into this area, you'll see that there are um, probably uh, three bits within that uh, family uh, of folders underneath the Sage CRM area is you've got announcements, you've got the forum, and then you've got different blogs, two, two separate blogs that, uh, that we've got. Now, the announcements uh, are where you can hear all the latest hot news. Um, you, I think we've got some patches coming out uh, this week around uh, TLS uh, issues. Um, you'll see that there's a forum there, very active forum uh, in terms of uh, getting um, help, peer-to-peer -peer help, uh, and then blogs. And we've got a much wider range now of blog authors um, Taking part, taking part and posting uh, material and resources up there. So actually very, very good that it's not just me writing stuff. Um, we've got um, the material still up on the uh, Sage um, CRM community. This is the old style community. Um, and, and with the uh, old star community, um, it, it's we've really hunkered it down as to what we, what what it's for. Uh, so we're obviously still expecting quite a bit of traffic on the site, and we do still get quite a bit of traffic on the site because of what's there. Uh, but it is it's the pointer off to where you'll get everything else. You can see here we've advertised today's uh, summit. You can see that we've got um, links onto the help center. You've got links on on as we've got here up into um, uh, into, into where you can get uh, training resources uh, within Sage City as well and and everything else that you might need, including the developer tools. Now um, here, if I um, step on just mention it in terms of probably what uh, the sage um crm community so it, it, it is community.sagecrm.com is really really useful for uh, and that is for the e-learning platform now the e-learning platform is a way of grouping lots and lots of material for educational purposes and putting them together into structured tracks now we house all of the uh, the videos onto the uh, that, that is used for this are up onto the YouTube channel, but we we have if we just look at this, we 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 group things together in logical themes. So you can see here with the implementation fundamentals, we've got essentially you can think of this as playlists to back up any of the classroom training that you might have for, uh, provided by learning services. Uh, 
And this isn't a competitor to uh, learning services, but it is it's here to uh, really to make sure that you've got the, the the space where you can come back and you can find out the information that you need in order to prepare yourself for any certification, uh, prepare yourself for really any projects where you're you're touching on a subject that you haven't used before. And if you want to um, prove that knowledge, you've also got the possibility of taking an exam. Now, please note that these exams that you can take through community.sagecrm.com slash p slash sagecrmexam.aspx, that exam is not um, accredited in itself. It's used by some operating companies to provide the portfolio evidence, but for most uh, people in, in the UK and in North America, um, this would be a, you can see this as a sort of a preparatory to make sure that you do know the stuff ahead of any certification exams that you take and also as a useful revise, a revision. You can actually sort of um, prove to yourself that you do know what you think you know. And if we go off uh, and have a look at uh, other parts of uh, the community.sagecrm.com, you've got the downloads area. And the downloads area is where um, really now what you would find is um, all of the stuff that um, that you might be interested in that, that would normally come with, say, a training course that if you did, did with me. So you've got um, sample components, little snippets of code, you've got um, you, you've got uh, different resources for products that you might see within the system um, but you've also got um there uh things like the sdk installer and notice as well on here you've got access to the uh, the knowledge base i'm going to be mentioning the the global knowledge base in a little bit in in a moment but we still have the core knowledge base that the level three team uh, has built up placed there uh, on here as well so this is another searchable area so very useful uh, resource to have, but probably the way the place where I spend most of my time now is actually on the YouTube channel. Um, I'm constantly editing things or finding things and searching things and providing them off to people. I'm, I'm I think part of uh, my my biggest role is saying um, is yes you can do that and there's a video that shows you how it can be done and you can go on to the Sage Support and Training YouTube channel you can see the address up there um, and then you can search within it there is a playlist there's a couple of playlists actually for Sage CRM um, but the the biggest playlist is the Sage CRM uh, the training and and um, at the moment, with most of the videos that are going up there are focused on support colleagues, people who are trying to um, provide the, the the second line or first line support for customers, making sure that things are resolved. So looking at tips to explain the subject. Now, um, where you would go if you want to take the learning further, uh, if you want to take a classroom, a virtual classroom course, or you want to uh, perhaps um, uh, look at um, uh, look at taking an, an exam is actually to go on to uh, Sage CRM uh, University. It's a different experience depending on where you are around the world. And if we uh, have a look at the UK uh, version, you can see there um, I've got the listing. Of course, um, I think it's probably the best thing to do though is always to speak to colleague my colleagues in learning services. They're the people who'll be able to tell you what's uh, appropriate for your market. Um, we've got, um, I know the South African and the UK training delivery is both done by partners. So you, you're talking about practitioners who are delivering the classroom training and it is of first rate quality. So please do speak to learning services, do book onto classroom training. You'll get an um, excellent experience there as well. Um, now, if you then want to look at the knowledge base, you can see that um, there is a sagekb.com. This is for all products, not just the Sage CRM. Uh, what you'll find is that um, uh, you're rerouted to a local website. And what I've just managed to realize uh, is I've been a numpty here. I have, if you 
look down the page, you'll find Sage CRM is mentioned here as well for Sage 200 CRM, as it's called within the UK. Um, it is a local site, so you'll get a different experience about where you are. So if you're in North America, you'll get a different knowledge base experience. And you can see here that you can search for different downloads and resources and bang, it gives you access here, depending on depending on the on the um, partner um, support site that you come onto, whether or not it would have the downloads immediately available to you as well. Here you can see that uh, you can you can find that. Now I've come to the end of what I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm going to be hanging around, obviously, the conference, making sure that uh, we're all good and that there are any questions. But um, that's it for now. You've got the Help Center, Sage City, you've got the Sage CRM community, you've got the YouTube channel, you've got Sage University, you've got the knowledge base, loads of material to help you get a, uh, get along with Sage CRM. I, I do hope that's been of use to you. Thank you very much for attending my session. 